Hello everyone and welcome to World of Mike. Today we've got issue 48 and it just feels like ages since I worked on this. Uh, it's definitely been at least two weeks I think. But anyway, we're back up and running with issue number 48 here today from issue, uh, from Eddie's Day Bar. I have got 47 but I've just got to wait for 46 to come in and then I'm going to do 46 and 47 together. Um, but the good thing is we can move on because this is the penultimate issue guys this is the issue where we start the chassis i'm very excited and i've waited very very impatiently for this <laughs> but parts are attached to the first beam of the sh uh, chassis structure so this is part of the chassis structure so as you can see we'll be putting detailings onto there like so and then that's basically it so a few little details and uh, we should have something looking like that so i can i can see this being quite a um a chassis that's got multiple bits bolted to it if you like then we've got recuperating the stobart group and obviously early motorway services the first section of british motorway was the preston bypass inaugurated in december 1958 as the motorway network spread out across the nation so service stations began to bring up alongside the carriageways that's one of my favourite coffee shops right there. And then coming up in next week's issue, which will be next uh, Wednesday, we're back on the Wednesday slot now, um, will be your chassis beam in details, rear left chassis beam, three cables, two hydraulic tubes, fixing plates and screws. So let's take a quick look at the part. So this is the part, and gee whiz, when I picked it up, I was like, oh, that is humongous. So it just gives you, that's just the beam, right? It, that, it gives you an idea of how big this is literally going to be. So I'm literally so excited about this. So let's uh, get moving, shall we? So this is now nice um, because we're now starting to build up the chassis. And uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's very red, isn't it? Oh, wow. I have noticed there is a lot of red in this. We've got a little part that's come off there. Um, but yeah, this is a lot of red. Uh, which is lovely and we've got some bibbly bops in there I can see that's metal so Matthew Boren before you ask me <laughs> uh, this part here is metal that's metal it's basically all metal and I think this part here is plastic yeah and then obviously we've got a sale for pack of DP08 and then DP um, yeah, 03, so DP03. Right, ho, so the first thing what we need to do is we need to get this part off the chassis uh, beam. I keep saying chassis, but it's a chassis beam. Now, looking at this, it looks like we're going to be putting it on the reverse way, I should imagine. So, oh no, it's, it's on this side. But, basically, this little nodule bit, you know, I said the part fell off. This little nodule fit, there's like a yeah, nodule bit. I should imagine that fits through there. Well, it actually goes through. So we've got that there, and then that goes into there. Yeah, so it's definitely that one. Okay, so that fits into there, does it? They've got like a key notch, but there's no, not really a key notch on this side unless Unless it sits like that. Hmm. I want to have a closer inspection on this. So, if that was upside down, so if we put it like that, so that's like that, and then we look at the nodule, which is that. So, I'm assuming it goes something like that. Does it go like that? Okay, this is a bit that's fiddly. Um, just trying to figure out how it goes on. Um, they've got the point going down, right, so it goes on something like that. then there's nothing to really connect it to so apparently it fits on a hole in the beam 
Hmm. A hole in the beam. I'm not understanding this because over here, if you look, it's got like a little hole thing in the beam, but they're saying that nugget bit, but that nugget bit is slipping out. Um, well, they've got that that way. That's facing down the bottom, so it's got to go... Can't go like that, surely. Ah, oh, maybe. I think this goes like this. So it fits on like that. And then obviously there's a screw hole. Again, yeah, no screw hole, so... Okay, I don't get that. Because it sounds to use a 1.8 screw, but... How can you screw that on if it's got no hole on it? Oh, right! Yeah, okay. Well, we've established it's definitely that hole, but that point is upwards now, so I'm assuming it goes something like that. It's got to go like this, isn't it? Because there'll be like a... I think there's going to be like a little pipe thing on there. Yeah, it'll go like that. So it is an optic illusion there. Um, that's the only hole we've got for the screw, so we'll go with that, yeah. Okay, so back on track, minor cock up there, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, we'll get that on now. Let me take that down a bit so you can see a bit more. So this is with a DP08 screw. Yeah, what will happen with that is there'll be like a little black foul thing that goes on that, I'm assuming. Okay, so yeah, that's, it's because in the book, they position it where is that little point thing is at the bottom, so it was really chucking me off a bit, but as you can see, that's where that goes, so that's all now connected up. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, this little section here that has got a, it's, uh, sorry, two, three, we've got a little plank section which looks like that. This is part 4803, and that's the spring holder, apparently. And that's gonna marry up into these two parts here, so it's gonna feed over there, because you've got two light like, connecting uh, panel things. And then if we turn that upside down, as you can see, that's how it looks like that. We're then gonna turn that up so it's left on here. Very nicely done, because they've got like a little ramp thing here, which helps us to, uh, to hold that while we screw it. And that's going to be secured with DD03 screw. So we just get the DD03 screw and uh, screw that in. Oh, I'm so pleased I took all your advice to hold on a bit. But yeah, it's just so nice to be finally starting this chassis. I mean, it's got to be several weeks before we get to put the, the actual uh, cabin, but... This is a start, that's for sure. Okay, so once we've done that, the next section after that is step five. We're going to put the bumper holder on now. So this section feeds up somewhere down here. And you can see we've got like on here, we've got a third section. And we're going to use, you can see it's got L written on it. We're going to use the bit that says uh, the second hole, sorry. And that's going to go into that section there. Okay, so it looks as if it goes underneath, does it? Oh, I see, yeah, it goes underneath because, if we turn that around, it'll go something, I should imagine, like that, because we've got like two little peg things on it. So yeah, that's pretty good. And that's gonna go in with a PM screw, which are DD03. So again, PM screw. Okay, so that's going to go through this hole here. Oops, that's the wrong screw. It's the, this one here. So 
just going to check that. Let's just have a look. Cause GTA 3. Hmm. It's not going on. I'm not having much luck with this, am I? <laughs> Let's try again. This is why I make mistakes that you don't have to, and you'll find that every part work builder says that. <laughs> Let's see what's going on because it's it's not liking it somehow. So, uh, hmm. so if we've got the screw upside down, yeah, that is the right way. But it looks like oh right, the screw goes from that side in, so it goes on the inside. That could explain why we are having difficulty there. Um, so DP03 which is yep yeah. i'm just going to grab myself a dp03 screw and uh see if we get any joy with that oops so it looks like it comes from this side I've got feeling yeah, that's perfect. So that's why we were having trouble. It was screwed from the outside in. Okay, so it gets screwed from this inside here. Lovely. Okay, so that's that section done. So once we've done that, be very careful of this, obviously. We're then going to get the piston mount. This is the left piston mount. And it's basically going to go where this big hole is. We're actually going to be putting it in this bigger hole up here. And you've actually got a pin there to hold it in. Again, it's got left on it. And that's basically going to go like that. So it goes on like a little slant. Okay. And that's going to be secured in with a DD03 screw as well. Okay. So we're just going to hold that there for the minute. While I get a DD03 screw. And we'll screw that through. Looks like it goes through that hole there. Just double check that. No, it's definitely the top hole, that one there. Lovely. Okay, so that's that part in. Got a little bit of, uh, oh, thought that was paint scratch then. Phew. Okay, so that's that section done. Once we've, uh, and then obviously the last part that we need to do is to put the cable guide, um, and this is this little plastic part. It feels plastic. And that's going to go into, there's a section up here. And it looks like uh, it just feeds into that slot looking like that. It does say you don't need any glue, okay? Because as you can see, it sits in there quite tight. It's not falling out. But yeah, that's the cable guy. Because obviously we're going to have some sort of black pipe I should imagine on there but that is looking really really good it looks absolutely fantastic so yeah this basically gives us a an idea now and this is absolutely stunning really really lovely lovely issue that so that is issue number 48 of build the Eddie Stobart brought to you by Farshed Partworks next week we're going to be doing the chassis beam and details and the real left chassis beam three cables two hydraulic tubes fixing plates and screws so i should imagine that this will connect onto that part there i reckon it's going to extend along there so yeah pretty good so um obviously this uh, issue had to pinch the bounty slot so eddie so far is now back to the usual wednesday and um, the bounty will be back to its usual slot on next Friday. So yeah, uh, please remember to like, share and subscribe. Please, please, please help support Harshet. And if you like this build, do get it. Um, because it's, it's a lovely build. I mean, I've never done a truck before. And that's why I took it on. Because I wanted to do a truck. I've never done a truck before. and um, Or a lorry truck, whatever you call it. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not familiar with uh, trucks. are not my speciality. So... <laughs> But yeah, it, it's really turning out to be quite a lovely, lovely build. And uh, as I said, I'm so pleased that I took, uh, you know, persevered with it because now we're up to the point where I wanted it to be. So anyway, I'll see you next Wednesday at 7.30. And uh, until then, have a lovely evening and we'll see you next time. Bye.